What is going on guys? Grave here. Yesterday we got a ton of information about Call of Duty Ranked Play coming to Vanguard on the 17th of February. And this seems like a very advanced Ranked Play compared to what we've seen over the past few years. Players have been wanting some you know, different things when it comes to Ranked Play and it looks like Treyarch has delivered that. What's going to go on with this, of course, if you're new to Ranked Play, it will be 4v4 CDL rule set. So hard point, search and destroy and control. This also means some weapons and, and settings and things will be set to the pro league rules. So certain attachments, certain uh, weapons, certain kill streaks, certain equipment will be restricted. So everyone will be on a level playing field, uh, regardless of your current multiplayer progression. In the new uh, Vanguard ranked play system, there will be seasonal rankings, divisions, and tiers. Each season players will compete in five evaluation matches to earn their starting skill rating and skill division placement. With each match you win, you will earn skill rating points that you can easily track in a visible skill rating number. And a lot of players have been asking for this for a very long time to kind of have that ELO ranking system like other FPS games out there, your Valorants, your uh, Halos, you know, where you actually can see that ELO based kind of system. So you can that ELO skill based system. So you know exactly how you're progressing or digressing by that particular number. With each match you win, you will earn uh, skill point ratings that you can, like I said, can be tracked through that rating number. And as your rating increases, you'll advance through a current skill division towards a uh, promotion into a higher skill tier and division. In Vanguard Rank Play, there are seven skill divisions up from five, which were in the game last year. Each skill division has five tiers. Your skill divisions and tiers are visible to everyone, so anyone you come across will know what they're up against. Your skill rating number isn't just to show off your skill, it's also used to kind of form matches and rank play to ensure you're always competing against other players with similar skill. At the end of each season, skill rating and divisions are reset and players will compete in a new set of five placement matches. Ranked players will be able to display their uh, competitive achievements with exclusive ranked play rewards that can be used in both Vanguard and Warzone. Ranked play beta in Vanguard will be loaded with rewards at launch, with even more coming later in Season 2. Starting at the later date in the beta, each season of ranked play will include its own set of unique rewards, including weapon blueprints, camos, charms, and more. Uh, these rewards are exclusive to the season that, go, that they go live in, so be sure to stay on the grind. For every five ranks you achieve, you will earn a unique emblem and a calling card. If you make it all the way to the max rank of 50, you will get an exclusive rank royalty uh, uh, rank royalty operator skin. So uh, players can also earn an animated emblem at the end of each season to celebrate their final season skill division placement, a weapon charm to represent their current skill, uh, skill division, starting later in the beta, of course, and a calling card and emblem rewards as they progress through their rank. At the top of the reward schedule, the Ranked Legend uh, Operator skin is also rewarded when you win 15 matches at the Master Skill Division or higher, which will be live in the beta at a future date. Uh, Bi-weekly ladder events are coming to rank play where 50 players of the similar skill uh, will battle in. Uh, kind of for points and bragging rights, this will be a two ladder event per week, which one will be starting on Mondays and the other on Fridays. Rank designations are also back. Players progress their rank play icon and rank by earning stars, which are awarded based on final placements in each ladder event. This year, the number of ranks has increased from 30 to 50, so reaching max rank is a far bigger accomplishment than before. And they kind of go on to talk about how Treyarch will be introducing uh, the top 250 division to showcase and celebrate the top competitive players across the world. So they kind of have a, a lower rank that goes all the way up to challenge. Uh, so if you can get all the way up to challenge rank, you're one of the top 250 uh, kind of players within division in the world, which is pretty neat. It seems like there's going to be a lot of things coming to this after it launches on the 17th, which is kind of be expected. Hopefully the ranked play we get on the 17th is good enough to keep players really interested to kind of, you know, interested in playing, I guess, to kind of wait on that new thing, new things are going to be coming out eventually, because it seems like this is going to be a very fleshed out uh, rank system, which a lot of people have been asking for. Personally, I prefer ranked over pubs in the last several Call of Duty titles because public matches have just not been that fun. A lot of people I know out in, out in the community are not a big fan of how skill-based matchmaking works and feel like if they're going to be in a skill-based match or a skill-based kind of lobby, 
that they should be playing, you know, ranked play anyway. And that's kind of how I look at it. I'm kind of on the same, I'm kind of feel the same way, I guess, that I feel like if you're going to be playing skill-based matched lobbies all the time, you might as well just be playing ranked play. And it seems like Treyarch is going to be doing a really good job with ranked play this year. Just hopefully all this stuff will be out in time to where it's not, you know, into next season, you know, after season two, before we get a lot of the perks of the ranked play itself. Guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about ranked play coming to Call of Duty Vanguard. I will link all this information down in the description if you'd like to read over some of the stuff for yourself. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. I'll catch you next time. Peace.